maintain sterility. Um, many people use probe, probe covers. I would encourage you to take a look at them for your practice. Um, some use Tegaderm and other methodologies of, of directly sterilizing the probe. In my practice, I use a probe cover, um, and it allows me to, to uh, maintain sterility. They make um, a variety of different kinds. So step four is lining up your shot and maintaining needle tip visualization. When you line up your shot, it's like lining up a pool shot. You have a ball in front of you and you want, want to line up your pool shot, you have to think of a couple different directions. Is the pool cue going to go from side to side? How far up and down are you going to hit the, the ball? And then how much force are you going to put on it and how, and how deep are you going to go? Okay, all of those things are going to come into factor um, as you're lining up your shot for your needle as well, every single direction. As you maintain your needle tip visualization, you only want to move one thing at a time. So you, as we get into the practice um, uh, area, we'll, we're going to either move the needle or the transducer, but not both at the same time. So people get into trouble when they're holding the transducer and then moving both at the same time. Keep your transducer still, move your needle, move your transducer, move your needle, move your transducer, move your needle. Okay, So not both at the same time, one at a time. It allows you to maintain constant visualization and constant um, visualization of a structure. So for instance, here's a case. Now here's a scaphoid at the wrist. It's got that nice, um, beautiful view of the scaphoid. Um, here's the radius. Uh, so here's a radius scaphoid um, joint right here. There's a small, little, tiny, teeny tiny ganglion which is sitting um, just right here. This is a little hypocoic structure. Um, and this is, some, this is a 19-year-old rower who has wrist pain, dorsal wrist pain at the radius scaphoid joint. Uh, with, with a little bit of joint uh, fusion. So you could say, well, how are we going to approach this? doesn't seem like there's a way because we've got the, the tendon, which is sitting right above it, attaching to the scaphoid and the dorsum. And um, what you do is you can angle just a little bit, just enough, to um, get the scaphoid out of view, rotate the transducer, and then open up the joint. And additionally, now here, what you're seeing is a needle coming in um, all the way down to here. Here's the bevel of the needle right here. So we're maintaining cons constant visualization of our needle tip. Here's our scaphoid now down over here. And here's our distal radius. What it's going through here is sterile gel. Now the benefit of using a sterile probe cover and then sterilizing the skin is to use, if you do use sterile gel, you can actually put the needle through the sterile gel and then get to more superficial structures with only going through a tiny bit of the skin. So one of the benefits of, of using uh, um, sterility.